That means I shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't have the battery plugged in to the vehicle itself, to the ESC. So as long as you don't have the battery plugged into the ESC and you mount the battery in there permanently, charge it like this, don't have it plugged in, everything works just fine. Just never overcharge your batteries. When that thing flashes green, you know, within 10, 15 minutes, you don't want to go any longer than that. I think 10 minutes is pushing it. But, you know, you, as soon as it turns green, you go ahead, unplug it, let it set 10, 15 minutes. Don't run it. Let it set 10, 15 minutes after you unplug it. Then go run it. I've been doing that for the past year and these are the same batteries I got with my vehicles and everything. This is, nothing's wrong with them. Never had the black battery explode on me. Never had none of the issues. Short, short now, nothing like that. You know, it's all still good. Everything still runs perfect. As long as you do those steps. You wait 10, 15 minutes. I wait, I wait 15 minutes at least before I run it after I charge it. You know, after I char run it and I go to charge it, I'll wait 15 minutes in between all these period steps. So make sure you do that. Your batteries will last forever. So will your chargers. Everything will be good. All right, I'm gonna hit y'all with another pro tip. When you're running these double barrel shocks, when you're running these double barrel shocks, you wanna use the spring off of the stock shocks, all right? The spring off the stock shocks, take the spring off, throw them on your double barrel shocks, and tell me how much better that does for you. Rides low, so get plenty of articulation out of there, more than ever. And you got those deep holes, gaps in between rocks, They'll drop right down in there. They'll find the bottom somewhere, it reaches so far, and then it gets you right out. Pro tip. Take the foams out in the summer. Put the foams in them in the winter. It's really injurious. They're like some mud terrains. Pretty sure these were the first versions of version ones. Comes with tires. Look at them rims right there. You see those? Those are some kind of Amazon specials. Super sick rims. You know why? Because you could put brass weights inside of them. You gotta glue the tire to it, but it can hold the weight in there. Unlike these Enjoras, you don't need the weight. You know, the weight is already in the rim itself. Bead locks, screws and all, you know? Super sick rims, both of them. When I'm running my rig, I run both of these rigs off of this one controller. That way, if something happens to the controller, I got a backup controller to run them still. You know, utilize your controllers with your rigs and your vehicles. Always have backups. Check it out, another pro tip. You need to add some weight, slap some nickels on the discs, slap some nickels on the servo if you have the room for the articulation to still work. Make a big difference. A pro tip right here, sharpies and markers are always a good thing to have, but to have an oil-based, oil-based paint markers is where it's at. Surfaces waterproof, standard color, premium, long, rounder, sweet. So it looks great. Touch up some spots around on my Jeep. You can even tell. Touch up all the screws. They're all shining, all silver. 
blacked them all out, so they're not really shining under there no more. And the other carriage did to both of them. Blacked out the screws real nice, you can't really tell. Fix up the, sp the pink scuffs on the side step the sliders, it's rock sliders. Can't tell, looks all good still now. Good for the show, man. Good for the show. You gotta have some oil based paint markers. You hear a little rattle ball in there. Man, no kid. That paint marker is oil based, they come in packs too, you can get different colors. Spread the love around all your accessories, crawlers, all of that. Another pro tip, little water bottle caps. It's good, holds a couple little drops of your thread locker. So you're not using a whole lot of time and you ain't wasting a lot. Little water cap, two drops of this, not making a mess. Pro tip right here. These Enjora tools come with three different sizes, three different uh, tools on here. Metric, two metrics, and then uh, one for the nuts, for the lugs. So you got your screws. Not off Amazon, but these are the Enjoras. Super sick. Awesome tool. So click in, click out. Yeah. They're durable, they're solid. Put them away. Pack and store wherever you want to go. For wherever you want to go. Pretty sweet. Pro tip. This is like a hyper tough from Walmart. Little flashlight on there and everything. Comes with the kit with all sorts of little heads bits and drivers and all sorts of sizes you name it it's in there yo pro tip about the controllers the transmitters here don't run different types of batteries in them stick with one style if you're gonna run duracell run all duracells in there don't mix your brands don't mix your charge levels don't do none of that all fresh ones all the same kind or don't even use them at all. These things will crackle and pop and do all sorts of crazy stuff. Don't leave them in there for too long either. If you're gonna leave them in there for longer than a week or two weeks, for longer than a week, I would say, take them out. Put them in a bag somewhere. And yes, of course, pro tip, always gotta have WD-40. Every time you're running in the water, Slap, spray some WD-40 up in the wheel, in the bearings, anywhere you can. Put them down in the diffs or in the uh, C hubs right there, C knuckles. And uh, I mean, put them down there in the steering knuckles. Spray up the servo arm there a little bit, and then the shocks. Not a lot, just a little drizzle. And then get up into the tires inside there, both sides. Throw it on the drive shafts where it goes into the diffs and comes out of the transfer case there. Transmission. Yeah. Last pro tip get a good security dog. Keep you safe, anything safe. All right, gang, thanks for watching TRC Crawler. Uh, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and do all the good stuff for your boy and some, show me support. And I'll do as much showing support as I can to everyone that has a channel and doing their thing too. All you RC enthusiasts and you know artistic people out there like myself, keep it going with the gang. Holla.